Hey everyone, so this week we are featuring ProPresenter, which is a, a presentation software which I think probably is the number one presentation software for churches. In my opinion, for so many reasons, ProPresenter just uh, is the number one software for presentation of songs and slides and anything that you need to project or put on a screen in church, uh, just because of so many reasons, like I said. Uh, so this week, I'm gonna be giving you four tips of how to quicken your workflow, how to make your workflow much quicker when you're doing ProPresenter slides. Uh, we know that you don't have so much time to do this, so we're just giving you tips to make it faster, to make it lightning fast, so that you can do your work really quickly. Uh, make sure to stick till the end of this video because I'm gonna give you a fifth one, which is my specialty. This is my, my hack that I use for ProPresenter. Uh, just make sure you stick to the end of the video and also remember to subscribe, like, comment, uh, and let's have some engagement on what, what this content is. If you like it, share it, comment and uh, subscribe. So tip number one I have for you with ProPresenter um, to quicken your workflow is to get uh, all of your songs looking the same, use templates. Um, so you can create templates just the way as the same as you can create uh, songs uh, slides. Um, so the way that you do that is, let me just show you how it works. For example, we want, uh, you can see that these, these two songs look different, but I want them to look the same. So I'll go select that song and select that song and then go to template. The template that I want is called Broken Frame 1 and that will make these songs now look the same. So here I have that looking like that and that's the look I'm going for. Now this will help you to create the looks that you want really quickly uh, and then when you want to use them, all you have to do is just apply them on the different songs or slides. Um, so how do you create a template? You go to template here and create new template group. If you can't see template on your on your what on your um, if you can't see template on your toolbar, uh, the way to do that is go to view and customize toolbar, and then you can. Um, this is a default toolbar, but uh, you can just drag and drop it, and it will be there. Um, so yeah, select template and then go new template group and let's say you want to call it test for now um, and then it will basically just be like creating a song or editing a song slide. So then you go there and then you have a choice of elements to use. Most importantly though is the text uh, element so let's just add some text there um, let's center that and then make that big enough for us to see and then uh, there's this font that I use which is Church, from Church Motion Graphics CMG Sans it's a great font um, let's just make it bold you can do make it look however you like let's say you want to make it bold italic and then we name this slide give it a slide label call it plain text um, and then another thing to bear in mind is you can say i want it all caps so select the text first uh, i want it all caps and i want it to adjust to fit the box the text box and that's it and then that's look number one and then you can have several looks so the way to do that is copy that and paste then you have another one and you can have several looks so in this look one very popular thing that is done these days is having a background fill i'm just going to show you how to do that uh, let's say we just want this to be regular 
and then yeah we're using that and then the, the way to do that is to have a background fill color line fill and that's it and then the next thing also is to add a height offset which gives you that height difference let's say 40 that gives you that height difference there and then another thing I like to do is to just give this some sort of opacity so that it doesn't um, it's not like in your face so what's that look um, let's just go in there if you want to edit a template group you can go back there and select it like that and you can edit a template group um, however you like so that's that and then let's call this background fill and that's it then we want let's say to give this um, like a box around it um, what we could do is add a rectangle to the slide so this is what we do you go there put it in the middle where you want it and then select uh, no fill color and then line color say you want that line to look white and then we want the good to be something like five or well, let's say six um, and then if you want to give it a corner radius you can Let's say we give it a corner radius, depends on what you like. Uh, and then that's it. So we call this, let's give that a name, call that uh, rectangle. Uh, and then when you order this, I would put text on top because then you can, you're able to click it and select it in terms of ordering. There you go. So then you have several. Uh, looks there you can decide I want this to be a full rectangle and you can go and just select test and say rectangle look and that will give you that look which is a different look from what we had before tip number two is using uh, the old enter shortcut to edit to quickly edit your songs and break lines uh, quickly so if you ever wanted to let's say reduce the, num the number of lines on this slide uh, to two lines but you want to break this line so that these two lines go down to the next slide um, sometimes what you want to do is cut this text uh, and then paste it in the next slide but uh, the easiest way to do this is to go to where you want to break the line and select alt and enter uh, that basically uh, does the same thing it creates a new slide takes the last two lines that you wanted and puts them on the next slide uh, and that is a quick way to be able to do uh, song editing uh, for example when you break these lines I just want to make sure that every slide on this song has two lines so just go in and break those lines um, and that creates multiple slides but it's still giving me those two lines um, and let's say I just want that one to be one line uh, go through here just do the that's not right uh, break that line so just so you know all I'm doing is pressing alt enter alt enter uh, on my keyboard alt and enter um, and that will break the lines and give us uh, the out the look that we want. So uh, here, just my goal is to create a two line um, two line slide. So this will be what it will look like in the end. Um, so all of my slides have either two lines or one line, two line maximum. Uh, and that's a quick way to do that using the old enter shortcut. Tip number three is utilize. Uh, the integration of Planning Center with ProPresenter. Uh, Planning Center is a software that is a web-based software that is uh, helpful for 
churches to be able to schedule um, services and schedule people and uh, get everything ready for, for services. Uh, planning Center is also a tool that has so many other things apart from service scheduling but um, uh, in our case here we're talking about service scheduling so normally what you do in pro presenter is you'd go here uh, in preparation for sunday is you'd go and you'd create a new playlist um, and you'd say sunday 24th and then you'd start to drag in all the different elements that you need for that Sunday uh, but in this case what I find really easy would, would find uh, easy for us is we add what is called a PCO playlist which is planning center uh, online playlist uh, I will have already logged in here and the preferences and services um, I can go in here and I can log in uh, using my account and uh, and that links with pro presenter so then that allows me to go in here and add a New planning center playlist so that is already there 24th of march and then that i put that under the march uh, folder for now um, so you will see that that is already populated and we have the songs there so the next step here is you'll see that it doesn't have them linked uh, normally it will link them but this is good because I can show you how to do it uh, you just drag and drop a song there um, and then raise a hallelujah try and find that um, drag and drop it will allow me and then champion so this is basically the workflow that we have and this is much faster than just um, than doing a playlist and dragging and dropping all the different elements uh, into the playlist. This is this is much easier because you already have the, the service order, and you're just basically dropping in all the different elements. Um, living hope, and that's it. So then uh, I go on to do what I did in tip number one to make them look all the same. Just select that and then go there. Select the template which we're using for now um, is broken frame. Say OK and then that's it. So all the songs will look the same. All the songs will look the same. I'll go through and check that all the songs look the same. Again, if I find that I want this to look, to have two lines, I'll go break it and that's it. And that goes really fast as my workflow goes and so on and so forth. And basically by the end of this, it will take me a very short time to be able to get that playlist sorted. That's tip number four, uh, use planning center integration. Tip number five and my last tip, uh, which I give as a bonus tip uh, today is um creating playlists uh, that reflect the speed of the songs um, and the way i do this is i just go and create a new playlist give it a name depending on the speed of the song so slow or fast or um whatever and so uh, like now here i have fast and medium and slow uh, and that i find that helps me to be able to have a bunch of backgrounds that I can use uh, when I need them I can just throw up a background depending on the speed of the song the way that church motion graphics organizes their backgrounds uh, they organize them in such a way that it is easy to do, to pick up background and use it for uh, the general speed of a song so for example here uh, if I go and have a bunch of backgrounds in here I can go here and I can search and say fast and then that will give me all the song, all the backgrounds that are fast in here and I'll just drop them in the fast folder and then I can also search for medium ones, medium tempo um, so yeah it's, it's just basically organize your backgrounds according to tempo so this really helps me a lot um, so if I go in here in this one and search for slow um, 
then I get my slow backgrounds and I put them there. If we're doing a song that is a bit slow like Living Hope, I can just throw up a slow background and and I can do that really quickly. So or if I want to go like one of the songs is grateful which is a bit fast uh, go fast and then try and find a fast background um, that will work with it uh, for example maybe this one so, um, and boom i have that already going so yeah tip number five and my bonus tip is organize your backgrounds according to tempo 